Guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your Hot Rod Deluxe uh, be amazing. Now, this is actually not uh, new information or even secret information, but it is information that I think it's very important that you know. So, here's what you do. You uh, Well, let's talk about the problem first. First of all, the big issue uh, with the Hot Rod Deluxe is that it's very loud. So, if you're going to use it as a practice amp, right... There's a couple things you may want to think about. So a lot of you guys buy Blues Juniors, and those are great amps too. I love those, and I'll do a video on those once. But um, this amp is one of my favorite amps, so you know, of all time, the Hot Rod Deluxe, uh, without a doubt. I mean, the Mark V, Archons, 5150s, uh, you name it. I mean, you know, there's amazing amps out there. There's the, the car amps that are great. Um, but my favorite amp probably of all time is the Hot Rod Deluxe. So let me show you why. Okay, so uh, here's the big problem with it. It's uh, If you're familiar with the this amp, you're familiar with the idea that when it's on volume one, it's very hard to see there, let's do that, volume one, it's off. And then it doesn't make any sound, and all of a sudden it's just blaring it too, okay? And even if you're using it as a um, pedal slave, in other words, that you're using the amp and running pedals through it, you still have that same problem. So this is how you fix that. Take the amp put it face down like so okay you'll see the speaker these are your power tubes now I'm not going to do it for the video because uh, I'm pretty confident in this but do not do this until you unplug the amp okay I promise I'm not going to let you touch anything that's uh, scary uh, make sure the amp is off at least 30 minutes so that the preamp tubes are not warm and also please make sure it's unplugged now you're going to see power tube power tube preamp tube preamp tube preamp tube and this little I'm pretty sure this is for vibration, to stop them from vibrating. Maybe Fender save some money instead of using those those caps that keep the tubes warm. I'm not sure. If somebody knows, you can post that. I don't care what it's for. I just want to tell you what you do. All you got to do is pull it off. You don't even have to pull both off. I just kind of tilt it to the side. Hold the tube firmly like so with your fingers like this. Pull straight out. Just like that. Bloop. Okay, pull it out. Now, bring in the new tube. Whoops. New tube. Which is a, if I can focus it on it, oh, weird how it's focused, a GT12 AT7, just like the George Benson amp. Now, take notice to the, to the prongs on it. You'll see the gap here. Here's the easy thing to remember. The tube on the amp seats with the gap facing towards the speaker, okay? So you're going to reach in back in here. I usually come in this way, and I can probably even show you. Let's see if I can get an angle on that. It's really going to be tough. Let's do this. You see, see the seating in there? Cool. You see where the tube gap is? Okay. So we're going to do this. Same thing. Let's go ahead and make sure that the big gap right there is facing away. And then put it in. Push straight down. See how easy it is? It sits in real easy. I mean, look, see. Pull it and do it again. Do not bend these. Put the foam over. Okay. Now, here's what you did. Let's turn it on. You have now successfully, now again, on mine, just like all my amps, I kind of mod the light. This, I'll show you. This is a um, a white bulb lens. Ta-da! And then what's in there? Oh, you know what? I'll turn it off. It's an LED light. You can buy these online for like $2. Pops right in. The LED is brighter, lasts a thousand times longer, and you can change the colors. I'm using a white bulb because I thought it was cool because it matches the knobs, and then a blue LED. And it's bright. So bright, it lights up the room almost, which is cool. Okay. Now, here is the fun part. Okay. So, for those of you familiar with this amp, let's do this. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm using my Fender Strat, of course, Fender Amp, Fender Strat, with a mini humbucker in the bridge. Okay, and now, first thing you notice uh, is, this is the bridge, we'll go ahead in the neck. You will notice it's a lot warmer now, but more importantly, let's take you back to that knob. I'm going to just go ahead and do this. Okay, off. Oh, watch. All you have to know, if you have a Hot Rod Deluxe at home, 
Go ahead and do exactly what I'm doing. Just plug into it right now, strum the guitar, and run this volume. And you will not get this. You will get a huge jump. So, you can now successfully dial the amp down to a quiet, look how quiet I can get this. Okay. I mean, you can hear, you can hear my guitar over this amp. Definitely more control of the amp. Okay, now overdrive. Watch this. You're gonna get a creamier. Okay, that was my bridge. Let's go to the neck. A lot of guys say the uh, Hot Rod Deluxe uh, distortion is not usable. Um, some people like it. That's a preference thing, but what I will tell you, if you don't like it, you'll love it now. And if you like it, this I think you'll like it more. So what do we do? Okay, so a 12AT7 is what's in the George Benson amp. Um, it basically is cutting off 20% of the amp's power. Now, if there's a tube guy out there, and I'm saying this wrong. Uh, you can correct it. Just put it in the in the in the uh, comments. Keep in mind though, I'm I'm not trying to explain 100% accurately what it's doing. I'm just trying to give a general idea of what you're going to expect when you do it. When you plug it in the amp, you will notice you will lose about 20% of the amp's volume. What I notice is the 20% that you lose is at the end of the amp. In other words, uh, the amp is. Uh, it obviously, it, as you turn the volume knob on, as you, as you bring up the volume, the volume comes quickly. In other words, it comes on earlier where it didn't come on before. It's not as dramatic and it mellowed out. And then when you get to about volume seven, eight, or nine, you notice you just stop getting volume. So between seven to uh, 12, those, those pegs on the volume, you notice you really don't get any more volume. The, the amp's giving you all it's got. Warms up the tone for sure. Uh, smooths out, smooths, smooths, smooths smooths out the distortion uh so it's just a good idea and um twelve dollars to ten dollars online you saw how easy i just want to show how easy to pop it in there obviously if you don't like it pull it out and stick the old one back in you are out nothing um and the reason i want to show you on this particular amp was this hot rod deluxe has the selection in it and this is a hard lacquered wood cabinet and it's the uh exact opposite of the benson which is a pine cabinet with a jensen so you can imagine if I can mellow out an amp, this version of the amp, which is more of a hot rodded up hot rod deluxe, you can see what it'll do to your standard hot rod deluxe. Um, and like I said, if I was a hot rod deluxe owner, which I am, uh, there's no way in hell I would not own a 12AT7 for whenever I feel like popping it in. Uh, again, that's how you do it. Um, be careful. Like I said, it will burn your hands if you don't let it be cool. And just for safety's sakes, unplug it. All right, guys. Thanks for your time. Know your gear.